हेलो एवरीबाडी गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रॉम टेम्पू सो वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल करेंटली इन टेम्पू इट्स अराउंड फिफ्टीन डिग्री सेल्शियस सो आई डोंट थिंक दिस नो हेयर बट इट्स वेटी कोल्ड आई एम काइंड ऑफ फ्रीजिंग सो बिकॉज आई एम नॉट रियली यूज टू द कोल्ड टेम्परेचर सो टूडे वी गो ने बी गोइंग फॉर साइट सींग इन टेम्पू और वी गो ने सी द सिटी एंड अदर फ्यू प्लेसेस सो वील ऑल्सो बी विजिटिंग दिस सिम्पली भूटान विच इज अ स्मॉल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ a buddha and culture and all of it so we are at our hotel having breakfast now and we'll be heading out and we're going to finish the simply bhutan and from there we'll be heading out to paro and we'll be having two days stay there so let's begin the day with some aloo paratha now we've been desperately waiting to eat some momos i really hope i find some momos pretty soon because i really want to taste those authentic momos made by the bhutanese so fingers crossed <laughs> So we are at the Simply Bhutan. The ticket is around 300 rupees. So I just heard that uh, inside they're gonna provide us this traditional Bhutanese wine, which is called the Zara, and they say that it's a pretty strong wine. So the people, a lot of people who love wine, I'm definitely one among them. So this is go try that. I'm really excited. First of all, welcome to our Simply Bhutan. So here it is a living museum, and you are allowed to take pictures and videos. Okay. Well, my name is Pema, and I will be your in-house guide for a short duration. So as usual, we used to welcome our guests by offering a welcome drink, a local wine. So this local wine is known as Ara in our term. And <laughs> Are you all done? And then put your right ring finger deep into the bowl. Ring finger, put it inside. And then stir it for three times. One, two, three. After that, you sprinkle in the air, saying "Je, Je, Je." Je. We are offering to God. So Je is a respect word. Okay, please have it, God. Now you can have it. If you like it, you can go for a second share as well. It's like a Japanese sake as well. <laughs> so if you are done with wine, we will directly proceed outside. Okay? Okay. Just now we will see the demonstration of how we are building a mud house, traditional mud house. You can see the demonstration. After the demonstration, I'll explain you. Which means we are asking forgiveness from our God, because when we burn the soil, we will kill many unseen insects and germs. So for that, we have to ask forgiveness. So in our country, both men and women will take part in pounding the soil, but mostly women, because men have to carry the soil. So when women are done with pounding of soil, again men will bring soil, again women will pound the soil, and when when the height of our wall becomes like that, we will dismantle all these woods. So this is the portrait of our local festival. We call it Tejo. It's Tejo festival. So these men who are wearing a yellow dress are the masked dancers. And these two men is known as Acharya, Sanskrit word. So we call it Achara. The term Achara is derived from a Sanskrit word of Acharya. So these two men known as Acharya will take a photo of Joker. They used to entertain the crowd as well as control the crowd. And our fellow Chhatri. So his name is Chiji Dukwa Kite, or a divine madman. Okay. So he came to our country during 15th century with the two aim. Number one is to subdue the evil spirit, and number two is to spread his dharma. Because in 15th century, especially in our country Bhutan, there is more demon than evil spirit. But we can't see with our naked eye. At any time, at any situation, they will get inside. That is why Chiji Dukwa Kite. Use his own palace to subdue the demons. He uses his own palace as a power to weapon to subdue the evil spirit. So Chujujukwa Kine is very much interested in wine and women. Men of wine 
in women. Okay. So if you are planning to visit Buddha Park, you will know more about him. Because his temple known as Chimitaka, a fertility temple is located at Punaha. So the amazing thing here is, if a couple don't fear a child, he will bless you with a twin baby. But only a lucky person will have a twin baby, otherwise only one. The temple of a hot stone bhakta. Hot stone bhakta. Uh, did you ever heard of hot stone bhakta? So this is the typical example of hot stone bhakta. Actually we collect this type of rock from the riverside. And this rock consists of many minerals. So we will heat this rock in the fire for 5 to 6 hours. After that it will turn into a red color. And then we will pick it up with the help of a metal clip and then we will put it inside the box, small box here. So here we got cold water now. So now the cold water and the heat of the rock will mix together. And automatically the water will become warm or hot to take stone bath. Okay? So this stone bath helps to cure our skin diseases and joint pains because of minerals. Okay, it's very helpful. You will get a chance to experience here in Himpo, Baro as well everywhere in every twenty districts. Okay. Now this is our traditional Bhutanese kitchen. Traditional Bhutanese kitchen and this is a butter tea maker. Butter tea. Have you ever tasted butter tea? Yes. Okay, we will go to this butter tea afterwards okay. in the restaurant. So this is a butter tea maker. So in order to make a butter tea, you need four ingredients. Butter, hot water, tea leaf and salt. No sugar. Instead of sugar, you put salt. After that, you put those four ingredients inside this container and then you have to churn it like this for 4 to 5 minutes. Okay? And the person who is churning the butter tea should be very energetic to get a good taste. So this one is for smaller family and this one is for larger family. So we will roll the noodle and then we will put it inside the box here. And then we will press it like this. So the noodle will come from down. We have to collect noodle from Nietzsche. So in order this, in order to make a noodle, our man should have more physical strength to press it. That is why what she do, she just keep her bum here like this and then press it. Okay. At the same time, she will do another work like a washing or whatever. So she will do a multitask in the family. Let me taste my butter tea now. Traditional Bhutanese dress, the 
top is called the ego and the bottom is called the kia. This is very comfortable. It's just like a skirt. I'm loving it. So all of Bhutan we've been seeing people wearing these kind of dresses. So colorful, so beautiful, and women are so beautiful over here. We're currently I'm in Bhutan, so you can see how beautiful the view is. Right behind is Odin Bridge. So they say that they did not even use one nail to construct that bridge. Not even one single iron nail that's been used. And the building that you can see, both of them, those are the museums. So these particular museums were burned down three times and it was reconstructed each time. They have made sure they reserve all the beautiful old things in those museums. Let's see if we could actually go visit it. But the scenery here is so beautiful. And the airport is just two kilometers away from top. You even see the runway and the flight taking off. Thank you.